There is no chapter of Hajime no Ippo this week, which means that it is time for me to rant and pick apart the series the best way that I know how, with absolutely no script, no notes. We're just gonna do it live. Hola, everyone, and welcome to the House of Ippo. Today, I want to talk about Hajime no Flaw, what I believe to be one of the biggest central flaws in the entirety of the series. And I'm going to be completely honest. It is something that has been bothering me for quite a while. Um, so we go through this series for 1,300 plus chapters. In time after time after time, we see one central, very important theme repeat. And that's not Ipo's ability to come back from anything. No. We see that Coach Hamagawa probably the single biggest thing that is holding Ippo back from succeeding. While I will admit that it is relatively true that he has helped Ippo get to the point that he is at, I mean, let's be real here. Hamagawa has really started to set Ippo up for failure. So let's go through a few points while I think about them. We're definitely doing this 100% live. Point number one, in the start of the series, Ippo is shown to have a really, really solid grasp on how to utilize his body in the best way possible. Again, this was kind of seen in the fact that he was on a fishing boat, he was strong, he worked a lot in his life so he understood how his body functioned. It's why he was able to pick up the jab as quickly as he did, again, catching 10 leaves in his jab hand, which... He figured out and taught himself how to do the snappy wrist punches that you're supposed to do to make your fists fly faster, basically. He got this just by imitating and observing Takamura do it once. Literally, Ippo got to see Takamura pop out some snappy jabs, and Ippo was like, you know what? Okay, I can do this. And he stayed up all night and figured out how to do that. Then we see him start to observe and really teach himself a bunch of different boxing moves. He taught himself the near vertical uppercut that he has, which is the really close compacting that he beat Miata with, that eventually turned into the gazelle punch. Like, this is something that Ippo has taught himself. The Dempsey roll, Ippo has taught himself. What he has not taught himself is how to get punched in the frickin' face. And I blame that squarely, squarely, on Kamigawa. That's right. Thing number one is Kamigawa is dumbing down Ippo. He is not letting him rely on the natural instincts that Ippo generally has to become an amazing boxer. Like, he's giving him a lot of the fundamentals and basics, obviously. Like, that's, that's not the problem here. The problem is that he is really not letting Ippo grow. Like, again, all the moves that Ippo has taught himself along through the series sometimes seem to get pushed to the wayside by Kamigawa. And then Kamigawa even goes to admit that, you know, Ippo isn't very talented, he isn't very smart, he just does what he's told, and that's a problem, right? Ippo taught himself the three biggest moves in his freaking arsenal without Kamigawa there. In, in, in fact, Kamigawa kind of made them better, but then, plot number two, Kamigawa believes so, so strongly in the fact that the Samurai Spiritu is something that is absolutely essential to being a boxer. He thinks the kid can just take a pounding, take a pounding, take a pounding. He believes in Ippo, which could seem like a good thing. But Ippo keeps getting punched in the face way too much. Ippo basically went from a man who could dodge almost any punch. If you go back and observe, all the way until the point that he becomes the Japanese champion, well, he did tank quite a few shots to the face uh, because, well, let's be real here, everyone is slightly better than him at that point. They either had more training or more talent. He was still dodging, ducking, dipping, diving, and dodging. That's right, we have a dodgeball quote today. Oh, okay, we're back. Sorry, I didn't mean to hit that. A little handsy. But the problem is, Kamigawa basically was like, nah, man, just it's fine. You get hit in the face, just keep getting back up. It's going to be okay. Nothing's going to go wrong. And every single time, it has gone wrong when Ippo lost the championship. Not the championship, but when Ippo lost to Date. Learned how to say that properly, by the way. Thank you, anime. Don't say we're going to go back to saying date because I'm never going to date. Um, the coach was like, all right, you need to take three months off because accumulated damage is going to ruin your brain. Then after that point, the coach seems to forget about accumulated damage and just says, bro, tank it with your face. Like, that is literally one of my biggest flaws 
in Hajime no Ippo. It's the fact that the coach believes in the samurai spirit and so much he kind of forgets something that he is even complimented for by the Russian uh, Volks coach from, again, the whole A-class tournament. He goes, oh, that man both has a samurai spirit too. And he understands the fundamentals of the science behind boxing. But the further we've gotten on with this series, Kamigawa's has forgotten more and more and more about the fundamentals of boxing. And he's like, nah, it's a samurai spirit. It's a samurai spirit all the way. It's why Ippo basically gets demolished by Alfredo because they're like, ah, he's fine. He'll take the samurai spirit the whole way. And again, is this fully in Kamigawa? Yes, because he knows better. He has trained Takamura. He has trained, at least helped train Aoki and Kimura. He's trained lots of boxers. Uh, in fact, before Takamura, he had another national champion at the gym. But he seems to forget these things about Ippo because he puts himself in Ippo's shoes. He straight up is like, he reminds me of me. I was, I might not have been that talented. Darn it, I was full of piss and vinegar. And he, I don't care, Kamagawa. Go back to what we had at the very beginning of the series, which was a coach who actually did genuinely understand the science behind boxing and paired it with the samurai spirit. Give us less of the spirit, more of the science, because that's really what's going on right now. Like... As much as everyone's thinking that he might die, you know, sick and go to the hospital, and that's what's going to push Ippo back to the ring, you know what, at this point, I don't care. There are certain points where I really just think that Kamigawa needs to get slapped in the face a little bit and go, listen, Ippo is broken because of your messed up training mentality that you sometimes have. Do you push him past his limits and make him better? Yes, but do you also get him punched in the face way too many freaking times because you're so focused on the Dempsey roll being the amazing move that it actually is because... Uh, now that we have the Infinity Dempsey roll, that's a whole other thing. But, yeah, like, ah, he's fine. We don't need to focus on the fundamentals. Dude, Ippo needs to go back to the fundamentals because he was amazing at those. His jabs were great. You know, the saying was, the man with the best left controls the world. Right? That means his jabs. The fundamentals. The man who has some of the best fundamentals is arguably the person who's going to become one of the best boxers out there. And Kamagawa has basically forgotten this behind the glamour and mystique that is Ippo's amazing moves, Dempsey roll, gazelle punch, uh, tanking things with his face, uh, and paired that with his love of the samurai spirit and screwed over Ippo. In fact, I truly and fully believe that Kamagawa is the reason why Ippo lost twice in a row. He didn't realize what Ippo was doing. He didn't understand the mentality of his own boxer. You know what? This is just a whole rant about Kamagawa. Basically... My biggest flaw with Hajime no Ippo is just Kamigawa. But I also love the man because he helped raise Ippo. He's a great complex character, you know, that you get to see his past. It's not really a flaw. It's just like something that I've noticed while watching this entire thing. But I could be absolutely crazy. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Is Kamigawa the biggest problem with the series? Minus somebody. Um, or do you think that, you know... He might be, you know, I might be being a little too harsh. Okay, I might be being way too harsh, but that's besides the point. Again, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Ring the bell, whatever everyone else tells you to do for YouTube. And for everyone new and old, welcome and welcome back. It's your boy, Lohali, and I'll see you next video.